Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're uh, just tuning into uh, the channel here, I'll let you know that we're going to do a very, very special portion of uh, our video uh, series today where we're going to take a look at Rick and Morty, but we're going to focus on just creating a portal. A portal typical of the uh, cartoon series Rick and Morty, if you're familiar with it. So uh, stay tuned. we got some figures here on the screen, but we're not going to be focusing on them so much today as we're going to be focusing on the portal behind them. Now, it's just a little bit of a review here. We did start with a rough sketch of what we wanted to do with our composition. So you can see the Rick and Morty portal behind the figures here, and they're kind of coming out, emerging from the portal, so to speak, with guns in hand, ready for some action. Again, we're gonna be focusing on the portal in this episode. We got some tricks to kind of like, uh, kind of pull off to make this thing work for us. Um, so stay tuned, we're gonna get into it right now. But for the time being, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna keep the, uh, the inked figures uh, hidden. We're not really going to be paying attention to them. If you're more interested in taking a look at how we're going to colorize those inked figures we did in our previous video, that that uh, section of our tutorial will be coming in a future video uh, not, not too far from now. So again, let's go ahead and focus on the portal itself. I'm going to uh, bring up a more established version of what we wanted our portal shape to look like. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create just a couple of blank layers over top of it just so I have something to work at. All right, so uh, this is the layer right here that, let me just highlight it here for you. This is the layer that we're using as our reference, and right above it, I'm gonna start doing some work. Now, um, I am gonna do a inked outline on this just to help keep everything nice and contained and easy to work with. Um, I've talked about my brushes uh, in previous videos, so if you have some interest in what I'm using for my ink brush here, feel free to check out the previous video. I'll put a little card up there for it. Um, this is a little thick, so let me just kind of get the the thickness I want here. We'll go ahead and lay this in. There we go. That works for me for right now. And I'm really just trying to do my best to kind of follow the guideline here, but not too much. I want this to kind of look somewhat randomized, right? And then I can go in and I'm going to kind of clean up just a little bit here and there just to try to make this look, I don't know, as organic as possible, maybe the best way to put it. All right. So there we go. Not bad. All right. So this is what I'm going to do then. I'm going to hide my little reference layer, and I'm gonna work on just the ink thing that I have right here. Now, um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of experimentation here. So what I'm gonna do first is duplicate this, so that way I just have a backup layer in case I ever need to come back to it. Um, and I'm gonna work in a layer that I have the potential to just erase and destroy if things just don't work out the way that I want, all right? Now, uh, the portal itself is mostly green, so let's go ahead and get into our color bar here. We'll take a look at some greens. I uh, am gonna start off with a relatively subdued green, uh, not very saturated. I'm going to be doing some work with this a little bit later on. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to pick one that like kind of hits what I think might be just the kind of the mid-tone green, if that makes sense. So we got that nice and filled in here. And now I'm just going to add a layer over top of it. I can always combine layers later if I find that I'm running out. But for right now, I can always back out of something really easily as long as I don't commit to it too much by combining everything together in the forefront, all right? So I've got a darker green here, and this is what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna go into the airbrushing tools that Procreate provides, and I'm just using the standard soft brush. Now I'm gonna lower the opacity on this, I want it to go in gentle, and I'm gonna make this eh, relatively small. And all I'm trying to do here is I just wanna kinda of get some airbrush to kinda of darken the area in the center of my, um, portal here. I don't want this dark color all the way on the edges. I just want it in the center and I want it kind of to radiate out a little bit. So again, the opacity here increases the more I lay down the color, but I can use that light, lighter opacity on the edges here because I want a nice blend of all this together. And I'm kind of there, but just to help this along, what I want to do is I'm going to click on my blender tool, my little pointer finger tool here, and I'm also going to go under the uh, Procreate airbrushing menu and set that to soft brush, and I'm going to use that to help blend my edges out a little bit too. It's a pretty effective tool there. Just manage the opacity and size, and you'll find that it really is effective at getting some really subtle blending in there. There you go. I don't want to overdo this. There's not really a whole lot going on here, but what I want to make sure is that, again, I don't take this all the way out the edges. I want just to blend from, from center in. And uh, just to help darken it up a little bit, I am going to add just a little bit more color into the center there. Just to get that nice and deep and vibrant. Okay, I think I'm relatively happy with that. Um, I'm going to go into another layer here. And I'm going to move into my next color of green. And my next color of green is going to be pretty dark. I want to get this down here like this. And for this, I'm going to go back into my 
Tabor brush. All right. Now for this, I'm just looking at some random shapes. I don't want really like a whole lot of um, anything that that really kind of resembles a, a, a uniformity. I, I want I want this to be kind of like random and a little bit all over the place. But what I am trying to do here is get this idea that we are getting a swirl that's coming out from the center and getting wider as we go along. That's what our portal is doing. It's kind of swirling from the center out. So I want to kind of give that idea that this is happening. And, you know, if it helps, you know, there's plenty of pictures of the Rick and Morty portals through a simple Google search. I'm just trying not to copy it exactly, but just get to kind of get the feeling of it, okay? So I'm not doing everything perfect. I'm not doing this exact. I'm trying to have a little fun with it, take a little bit of artistic license and get something that kind of is reminiscent and catches the spirit of it, but doesn't copy it exactly. I think I'm relatively happy with that color. I'm getting ready to move into another layer and I'm going to move into some of the lighter greens now that kind of show up in our portal drawings. And they also, by the way, start to skew a little bit yellow. So I'm gonna make some color adjustment there as I go along. Let's test that one out. Yeah, I kind of like that one. So don't be afraid to get some overlapping in here. That's the kind of the point of how this thing works. And that's why I'm working on different layers because this overlapping does happen with these little globules or whatever they are as we go along. Okay, relatively happy with that. Let's go ahead and we'll change our color again. Also changing layers, don't forget the depth. And uh, this time, um, let's go here. We're gonna go a little bit more towards the yellowish green. Again, I, I do want this to be still green. I'm not doing really true yellow here. And notice what an effect that makes. Now, if I don't like this, I can back this out. I can change the color, try again. Okay, so I'm not committed to anything here. But again, remember the idea, and I'm gonna actually Start at the center here a little bit better. Remember, we're doing something of a swirling pattern is the idea. I'm trying to lose sight of that. <laughs> there we go. And I think we got something relatively okay there. Not perfect, but I think we catch the, 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 the spirit of what's up here. Okay. And one last thing we're going to do here, and I'm just going to do it on the same layer one right now. I'm going to go like nearly white with it, and I'm just going to add some, some dots in. Um, these dots, we're going to add in quite a few of them right now, and then we'll again, try to keep them random, random size, random location, but we are going to use these dots to help create that area where the torsos of our figures are coming through the portal. So not too many of them for right now, but this, this is a halfway decent I think we'll call it as it is for right now so there's our portal I'm going to go ahead and put our Rick and Morty figures on top of it you can kind of see that they don't really <laughs> stand out very well uh, at least not yet but when we get into the coloring phase of these figures in our next video I think you'll see how much this is going to pop so stay tuned take a look uh, if you have any comments questions or suggestions leave them below and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button in the meantime I hope to see you again soon thanks for stopping by